Lunatics, welcome back to the channel. You saw me pumping that gas, and you know what that means. It means we're out on the road, and we are on the way to Sam Rayburn. I'm in Texas right now, drove all day yesterday. Got about halfway. We still got some driving to do today, but uh, we're out here in Texas, and uh, it's time to get some lunch, actually. We're gonna head up the amazing Burger King, because that's pretty much all we can find where we're at right now. So we're gonna hit some, some lunch, and uh, then we'll get out, uh, back out on the road. We'll do some talking, and uh, yeah, let's hit the road. Let's get some lunch right now. Then we'll hit the road and uh, we'll, we'll catch back up here in a minute. All right, dude, let's roll. Let's roll. Five more hours. Is that all we got is five? This is a rare uh, sight for me right here. I don't eat this shit normally, but when you're on the road, you just eat shitty, so. <laughs> I have no choice. Unfortunately, I probably eat more fast food than I definitely should, but that also goes to the gut that I got going on right now that I need to get in check. So we're on the road, we're on the road to Sam Rayburn. Uh, this is day two of my drive. Uh, I didn't record on the road stuff yesterday. Um, I, it ends up being way too long of a video if I record two days in a row. But we're on the road to Sam Rayburn. Got some work to do when we get out there. We're gonna have four days of practice and we're gonna have to try to figure out how to catch some big bass out here in Texas. And uh, I haven't done it so far this year, so hopefully this last trip out to Texas will prove to be better and I'll be able to catch some big ones out here on, on Rayburn. So last night we stayed in a hotel. This morning we got up to leave and uh, get everything packed up, go out to the truck, and uh, the sun's out, obviously, it's daytime. And I go to find my Waterland sunglasses and uh, they're missing. Thankfully I had an extra pair in here, but um, my Hybros are mysteriously missing. I don't know what happened to them, I don't know if I left them while I was eating dinner last night. I don't know if they fell down in the abyss that is the truck right now, but I'm pretty bummed about that. But while we're on the topic of Waterland, you guys gotta check them out. Waterlandco.com, use my code LUNA10, and it's gonna save you some money on a pair of sunglasses. These sunglasses are legit, guys. You hear me talk about them all the time, and uh, these sunglasses, man, they're no joke. They're gonna help you catch more fish. You're gonna be able to see into the water. It's gonna cut down glare. It's gonna help you see the grass lines. It's gonna help you see brush piles down there. If you're sight fishing, you're gonna be able to see those fish on the spawning beds, and it's gonna give you a much better chance at catching them. So head over to the Waterland website, waterlandcode.com, use my code LUNA10, and uh, you can check out the apparel, check out the sunglasses, the dry bags, everything that they have to offer, and use that code LUNA10 to save you some money. So if you guys watched my travel video from Rayburn last trip, you know that I had a ton of problems with my truck. And even at Lake Texoma, on the way out there, I had more problems with my truck. The check engine light came on again. I didn't really talk about it because I was pretty frustrated about it. But I did end up having to get my truck fixed once I got back to San Diego again. So goal number one for this trip is to not have the check engine light come on. And so far, we've accomplished that. So let's cross our fingers and hope that we don't have engine problems, check engine problems with the truck, or with the boat, hopefully we can have a smooth trip and not have to worry about whether or not I'm gonna have to take the truck in to the shop when I get back home. Well, I've been paying attention to the weather pretty much throughout the day and I knew that we were gonna hit rain at some point and um, it's not raining real, real good yet, but I think we're gonna get some thunder and lightning here eventually. But uh, definitely sitting in some traffic around the Dallas-Fort Worth area, and when you don't sit in traffic for hours and hours and then you get there, it's pretty miserable. So not the funnest part of the drive so far. Uh, 
probably gonna get there in, I don't know, three hours, four hours or so. So I'm getting close and I'm looking forward to tomorrow. I'm looking forward to getting out there and doing some fishing. I'm assuming that the fishing is gonna be a whole lot better than uh, what I've been dealing with lately. I mean, April going into May is always, usually a pretty good time to go fishing. So hopefully that is the case out on Rayburn. I don't really have a game plan yet for how I want to approach practice on Rayburn. Um, I know that there's a lot of things that could be in play. There could be a top water bite, there could be a frog bite, there could be, you know, crankbait bite, Senko bite, there could be bed fish still. So it all kind of just depends. I'm not gonna really know until I get on the water and start looking around. I'm gonna have to just kind of fly by the seat of my pants a little bit, keep an open mind during practice, and uh, just try to cover some water, but then slow down in areas that I think look good. Because if I go through those areas too fast, I might pass something up that I, that I didn't know was there. So the goal for this one is to have fun. It's been a tough couple tournaments, and I think tough's an understatement, but they've been really tough, and uh, I just wanna have fun out here. I wanna go out, I wanna catch some fish, and just kinda see how things go, and you know, obviously I'm gonna fish hard, I wanna do well, you know, I'd love to cash check, I'd love to make top 10, I'd love to win the dang thing. But the main thing is I, I wanna go out here, I wanna have fun, I need to fish loose, I need to just have a good time. I mean, I think there could be a really good possibility that part of my lack of success is the pressure that I'm putting on myself. The expectations that I have, the level of seriousness that I'm putting on these tournaments instead of just going out there, fishing a little bit more free, having a little bit more fun, fishing a little bit more loose, and just kind of like doing it and, and, and enabling myself to have a little bit more fun instead of taking it so seriously as is, as if it's a job. I mean, I do have some responsibilities out here to get the content, to represent some companies as best as possible. But at the same time, like it's fishing. So I need to be out here, I need to be having fun or else why am I doing this? This isn't what I do for my living or anything like that. So I need to kind of enjoy the time where I'm out here because I never know when this could all end. So win, lose, or draw, I gotta be having fun out here. That's the main thing that I'm trying to, to really kind of hone in on because I'm not gonna lie, the last couple ones haven't been that fun. It's been a grind, it's been really brutal. I've been really taking it real hard and um, I, I need to loosen up and I need to have a little bit more fun out here because I know when I'm at home and I'm catching fish, I don't have that pressure. I'm confident and the last couple ones, I definitely haven't been confident and that's something that I really kind of just need to go do and don't be afraid to fish how I like to fish, how I know how to fish, even if it doesn't necessarily set up perfectly for the lake that I'm at. Well, I doubt you guys can see it because it got so dark, but we are going over the dam for Sam Rayburn right now. We're only a couple minutes away from the hotel, but that's Sam Rayburn. We're gonna be on that thing tomorrow, hopefully figuring out how to catch some fish. Well, Justin, what did you think of the drive? Oh, it was easy. Easy drive. Easy drive. Nice, easy, what, 21 hours for me? 21 hours? 20 hours. Yeah, it's getting easy now. <clears throat> it's pretty sad when uh, you've been driving in, uh, so much that 21 hours is an easy drive. It's still pretty long. But we made it. We were at the Rayburn Inn and uh, it's time to go get some food, trying to, time to get some dinner, time to drink a couple of those Coors Lights that are sitting on the, on the dresser. So, hope you enjoyed watching today's video. We're gonna go fishing tomorrow. We're gonna get out here, start getting after it on Sam Rayburn starting tomorrow. But excited to get going, excited to be here. And uh, I'll see you guys in the morning. See ya.